everyone and welcome to my channel today is another installment of Melissa's top fives of 2016 now this one had to be the hardest hardest category for me to pick out just five and that would be my top five liquid lipsticks now I am just doing liquid lipsticks right now. I have enough to do one for just regular lipsticks, which might go tomorrow, or I might do highlighters tomorrow, then lipsticks. I don't know. I do what I want. So, like I said, this was one of the hardest, hardest decisions I've ever made because I have used so many liquid lipsticks this year. Um, unfortunately, the one I'm wearing right now did not make the list, but it can be an honorable mention because I love it. It is the Gerard Cosmetics uh, Metal Matte Lipstick in Underworld. I don't know if you guys can see that. Don't focus on my face. Whatever. But I love how this looks. And it dries down so comfortably. So this will be an honorable mention. But, um... I guess we can go ahead and get started with the official countdown. Woo! I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay, starting off with number five. Actually has a really good story behind it. Because I almost didn't even keep this to begin with. And that is the Milani Amour metallics lip cream in materialistic all right first i'm going to swatch it so you guys can see how amazing this color is it smells so good look how amazing that color is it is so shiny i had I don't know what it is, but I've been gravitating towards matte lipsticks lately, like metal matte lipsticks. Um, but, um, and I will say that not every lipstick on this list does completely dry down to matte. I just used it as it was a liquid lipstick that I loved. I'm putting it in. Granted, like I said, I had thousands to choose from. <laughs> not literally. But I really do love this color. It is a nice, deep, rich chocolate brown color that has a nice metallic sheen to it but let me tell you the story about this when i first ordered this i ordered it with two other colors it was chromatic addict and i can't remember the other name <laughs> mad about you that's what it was you know matt m-a-t-t-e okay yeah anyways and when i received them they were broken and you can actually see the video of this in an unboxing um, video um, in my earlier videos. But I received all three. All three of them were broken. And this one I was able to salvage because it was this part right here that was broken. So I just put tape around it to kind of salvage it Well, I had I had contacted the Milani company and they sent me three brand new ones that were unbroken and I gave the other ones to Madison because she said, don't throw those away. Give those to me. I don't care if they're broken. So Madison got my other ones. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just love the way this um, feels. It, I don't think it, com well, it completely, doesn't completely dry down. It does still transfer. There's my towel. It does still transfer. As you see, there's a little bit on my finger right there. Um, but it's so, so comfortable on the lips. And it smells like super great. Kind of smells like vanilla. <laughs> All right. Number four. I ordered this, I want to say over the summer. A lot of my liquid lipsticks I ordered over the summer. Um, maybe early September. And I fell in love. As you guys know, I am a sucker for red 
lipsticks. I love red. That is my signature color. Even though I am dipping into other colors, red is my signature. No ifs, ands, buts about it. And this one is just like a, oh my god, it's just the most beautiful, deep red that I have ever seen. Well, I would say like a, a, a red with like a more brown undertow to it, not like burgundy, but. And that is the Tarte Tartiest Lip Paint in Man Bun. I love that name, Man Bun. Um, I love the way their lip paints smell because they smell like they are, like they're minty. Look at this color right here. It may look completely brown on camera, but I'm going to tell you right now, it is red with brown undertones. I wouldn't call it straight burgundy because it has more of the red to it than it does the brown, but it is an amazing color and it is so smooth and feels great on the lips too. So that is the tar Tardiest Lip Paint in Man Bun. You, oh, by the way, I'm not sure if you can still get the Milani one. You may be able to on their website. Um, but I do know you can still get Man Bun. Um, it is a great lipstick. Very comfortable. Go get it. Next one. Was a big hit over the summer. And they just recently brought it back. And I was so glad because I missed it out over the summer. And that is the tar Tardiest Lip Paint in Texas Toast. This is the collaboration they did with Graveyard Girl. I love the packaging. Even though it's like their standard two packaging, the cap is amazing. Because it has her signature on it with a little heart. And I just love, love this color um like i said it was oh there's that minty smell it was a hot commodity during the summer but they have brought it back excuse me for a limited for a limited time and i do believe these are actually on sale right now for 12 dollars on tarts website you can only get these on tarts website and here's the swatch right here Normally, I'm not drawn to these kinds of colors, but it was just something about this color that I absolutely loved. I think it's because instead of it being more on like the pinky nude side, it's more on the purple nude side. And I just, oh, I love it. It is just as creamy as Man Bun. It has that minty smell just like Man Bun and... Uh, it goes on so well, super smooth, super creamy, very soft, awesome on the lips. So I um, recommend that you guys go get this. The next one in my collection, or actually in my top five. So this is number two, At A Hard Time. Coming out, well not coming out, but deciding which one I was going to do. I had two of them that I had a toss up to, but I decided on one. And it's from Jeffree Star's Holiday Collection. I chose Pumpkin Pie. Now I have all seven of them and it was between this and Crocodile Tears. I was like so, so torn. Because I'm sorry, number one is my number one, blew me out the water. If I didn't have it, I was going to get it regardless. But I was so torn. But finally, I chose pumpkin pie because I love a burnt orange color. I don't know what it is, but lately I have loved burnt orange tones on me. And this lipstick is amazing. It has little, I don't know if you can see it, but see the shimmer in it? It has little gold, it has little mics of gold glitter in it. As you can see, it shimmers as I move the tube. And once it dries, you just rub your lips and it activates that glitter. So it gives it a nice, sheen, a nice shimmer. This one doesn't really have a smell. It does have like the chemical smell to it, but I look over that. 
and this is what it looks like. As you notice with all four of these, all these, that was smart, Melissa. <laughs> um, as you have noticed with all four of these, that's awesome. Um, none of them are patchy. They all come, they all just glide onto the, they all glide onto my hand very well. But this is pumpkin pie right here. Um, and I, I smudged it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's the gold glitter in it. It is such a nice orange color. I just, ugh, I don't know what drew me to this color, but I absolutely love it. Um, it is very comfortable, very, um, it does dry down. I think I got a six hour wear of this. I think I got a six hour wear of this, about a five and a half wear, about a five hour wear, and about a six hour wear for that one. I didn't want to touch up on that. So, um, I just love, love this pumpkin pie shade. It, it just, he really knocked it out of the park with this shade. I absolutely, positively love it. I do believe it is still available right now. I don't know when he's going to pull it from his website, but um, it is still available right now. So, yeah. That's uh, pumpkin pie. And last but not least, as I stated earlier when I was talking about man bun, I am a sucker for red colors. Red is my absolute favorite color on my lips it is my signature color because come on everybody has a signature color whether it's red nudes pinks whatever we all have a signature color and mine is red and a lot of you are probably not going to be surprised I picked this as my number one and that is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Lady Balls I don't think you guys can see that yes in Lady Balls. This is a true to form blue tone red. I love this color and this color right here is the one I get the most wear out of as far as wear time. This is it right here. Let's see if it's got any smell to it. It does have a, chemi a chemical smell to it but it goes away when it dries down. Um, but this is what it looks like again. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous red. Um, I wore it not too long ago, taking pictures with it. Um, I wore it on thir uh, Thursday. I wore it on Thanksgiving. I wear it all the time. And it is just, oh my God. It is my number one liquid lipstick. As much as I... As hard as I thought to think of the other four I was going to do, this was always going to, this was going to be my number one regardless. Um, and I think I got like seven, I want to say seven hours of wear time on this. Um, it's just, oh God, it is an amazing, amazing red color. And I love the name Lady Balls. I don't know what it is about that name Lady Balls, but I just absolutely love it. So... That rounds out my top five liquid lipsticks. Let me know in the comments below what your top five liquid, liquid lipsticks of 2017 is. I have already received some liquid lipsticks already that came in through Christmas, so I'm not including those in this video, but they're going in for 2017, and I gotta say, they are amazing. So, that's all we have right now. As always, you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Melissa Garrett. On Snapchat, you would think I'd know this by now. <laughs> on Snapchat as Melissa Leo wants you to three, and on Instagram as Melissa Leo Garrett. Come on over, we have fun on those pages too. Also, I do not have a Twitter account, so if you see a Twitter account with my face and my lovely smile, report it because it's fake. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye. My Cupid's bow is always fudged up. I don't get it. Between my jacked up left eye and my cupid's bow, I don't know what's worse. Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> Good 
not together. My hair looks like crap. Y'all, this lip color's bomb, though. My eyes look good, I guess. Eh, whatever. <laughs>